electrical properties of the intrinsic semiconductors can be greatly modified by adding small amounts of suitable impurities. The impurity atoms replace some of the host atoms at their lattice sites. Two atoms of germanium are shown to be replaced by arsenic atoms. Thus, if one adds pentavalent materials like phosphorus, antimony and arsenic to the tetravalent germanium, Similarly, trivalent impurities can also be added to the tetravalent silicon to replace some of their atoms by these atoms. Of the five valence electrons of the pentavalent arsenic, four are used up in forming covalent bonds with the nearest germanium atoms. But the fifth electron is now left in the crystal as an extra electron to the crystal. If this extra electron receives an amount of energy as small as 0.01 EV, it can behave as a free electron. This much amount of energy is readily available from the thermal energy at room temperature. Thus, the pentavalent impurity atoms donate electronic carriers to the crystal to conduct electricity. So, they are called donors. The amount of donor impurity added to the host is about 1 donor atom per 10 raised to 6 host atoms. In one mole of a crystal, there are about 10 raised to 17 free electrons. In comparison, a metallic conductor like copper has about 10 raised to 23 free electrons per mole. In addition to this, some breaking of the bonds due to the thermal oscillations also contribute a small number of free electrons. This number is much less than that obtained from the donors. Thus, addition of pentavalent impurities to germanium or silicon leads to a mode of conduction in which electrons are majority charge carriers. The electrons being negatively charged, such impurity doped semiconductors are called N-type semiconductors. In such type of semiconductors, the contribution to the electrical conduction through holes play a very minor role.